10 Stupidly Expensive Things Rappers Don't Talk About Why would you buy that? Hi, and welcome to King Trending, where today we'll be looking at 10 stupidly expensive things rappers have bought that they usually don't talk about. We've gotta hand it to them. Just because they like to splurge a lot doesn't mean they always have to flaunt what next expensive chain, car, toy, or house they purchase. With that said, the items rappers are willing to buy and the sheer amount of coin they'll drop is insane, so be sure to stay until the end. You might be caught off guard. Number 10. 6 Nines $75,000 Diamond Rainbow Grill You've probably heard about pearly whites, but what in the world are you supposed to call these? And why would someone spend as much as 75k on them? Well, 6 ix 9 is just one of a kind. As if his sense of style and music doesn't speak loud enough for himself already, but people seem to really enjoy his screamo -ish style of rap. So much that when his music video for Gummo reached 100 million views, he went out and splurged a little. If you've seen the music video yourself, you'll notice how 6 ix 9 has already had a set of rainbow grills to express his fruitfulness. The difference between that set and and his new set, however, are a variety of colorful diamonds as well as several fangs he had included. And while the rainbow grill is an effective way of showing off his newfound success, there's really no point to them. Still, it'd be nice to say you're able to carry around 75k just in your mouth. I'm only cool because I could tell him the truth and he's not gonna get offended. Most people gonna get offended. I'm not, bro. I know my music is trash. It's just hot trash, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't think that. Bro. Number nine. Black Youngsta's $250,000 Lamborghini truck. Okay, so it's more of an SUV than an actual truck, but typically anything from Lamborghini is worth getting, which might be why Black Youngsta was so eager to purchase the first Lamborghini truck, aka the Urus, back in October. The purchase itself wasn't so subtle, considering he walked into the Atlanta dealership with a safe full of cash, presumably $250,000 in Benjamins. But the starting price for the Urus was around $200,000, so it's likely that Black would try to ball out and spend far more on a higher-end model with some added cosmetics. And he mention of the SUV thereafter though has been ridiculously tame. It's difficult to find any videos or even photos of Black with his new Lamborghini. Maybe we'll see it in a music video from his upcoming album. How you doing? Good. How are you? Tell what we doing? Tell what we doing right now. You coming to get the first Lamborghini Urus. Lamborghini Atlanta. Lamborghini truck. Yeah, you see we got, we got it behind. They got it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Number 8. Little Uzi Vert's $2,400 striped shirt. Rappers tend to become famous because of their bold choices. They do things people wouldn't normally do, and sometimes it backfires. Back in the summer of 2017, Lil Uzi was spotted with a questionable striped shirt, which not only put him down $2,400, but put him on blast by thousands of fans and listeners of his music. Not like he couldn't afford the shirt, but people like 50 Cent DC Young Fly were going after him for the bold fashion choice. You wonder why he would. On the other hand, some people turn out to like the shirt, which is how we found out about the price tag in the first place. Number 7. Jay-Z's 250,000 Champagne Splurge Jay-Z could have 99 problems, but spending 250k just on champagne definitely isn't one. Fans of the rapper may remember the release of his dual album with Kanye, Watch the Throne, a while back in 2011, and as a way of celebrating, may have purchased non-stop bottle service of the bubbly brand of alcohol. According to Jay-Z himself, apparently the only reason for a quarter million splurge was to outshine Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban, who spent upwards of 100,000 to celebrate the championship his basketball team had won. Well, the rap legend himself beat out Mark with just a single 15 liter bottle of Ace Spades brand champagne, which alone is worth a hundred thousand. From there, bottles just coming in for anyone at the Live Nightclub in the Fontaine Bleu Hotel in Miami, totaling the bill out to two hundred thousand. And thanks to the waiters and waitresses, left a 50k tip with already a net worth of over 810 million as of 2017. You can see where I'm going with this. That night for Jay Z was basically like if I were to buy something off the McDonald's value menu. Oh, yeah, and recently he spent ninety one thousand dollars on Ace of Spades Champagne in February of 2018. This doesn't end. Number 6. 
Drake's $7 million yellow Ferrari LaFerrari. In another video, we estimated Drake's entire car collection to be in the vicinity of $5.1 million at the very lowest. His newest yellow LaFerrari breaks that insane amount all on its own, and it still leaves you with another $2 million to spend. Drake's a humble man, and obviously doesn't talk much about what he does or why he does it. So it's only an assumption that he used the Ferrari as a means to reward himself for a job well done on God's plan, which if you were to ask me, is well deserved. <laughs> I like the ride, bro. Drake, will you sign one autograph? Just one autograph. Number 5. 6'9's $300,000 jigsaw chain. It might be safe to say, Takashi69 has been among the most talked about rappers of 2018 so far. The man can't seem to get a break. Most recently, fans have shown concern for Takashi because of what major game-related controversy is stemming from his cancelled NBA All-Star Week performance. Thankfully for him, Takashi made it out to the City of Angels in one piece, which worked out in favor of him even more, because he could easily promote his new project, Day 69. So as a little celebration for his recent success, Takashi capped the new chain, which he claims cost $300,000 thousand to manufacture. No matter the cost, it's hard not to admit it looks fire. The iced piece not only matches his already existing jigsaw tattoo on his right cheek, but the mouthpiece moves open and shut. Definitely tops his previous chain, the 150k spinning 6'9 chain he purchased in early January of this year. Let's play a game. <laughs> no new piece. New piece alert. New piece. Ready for this now I can talk when I walk, yeah? yeah. You ain't gonna talk no more. You do the talk before you. He do the talk for me. Jig song. Holla at him. <laughs> Number four. Post Malone's $75,000 92 Ford Explorer. Among being a fan of jewelry and apparently cod, Post Malone also seems to have a hidden love for Ford SUVs. The idea came out of nowhere for him to team up with West Coast Customs to pimp out a beaten down 92 Ford Explorer. Before the project, the car was worth maybe $1,700 on a good day. But once WCC was finished, that old piece of junk skyrocketed to $75K. The whole project took two months to complete and features Lamborghini style doors, a ridiculous sound system, a custom cam candy coated paint job and 26 inch wheels with spinners. Who has spinners anymore? <laughs> there you go. Two chains, $150,000 bed made of horse hair. Recently featured on the show Most Expensivest, 2 Chains had the opportunity to be pampered almost like a king and sleep on a bed made of horse hair. Sounds weird, right? Turns out, about 165 years ago, horse hair was the standard for the wealthy and any of their furniture, whereas the peasants, like you and I, would have just straw. It's extremely comfortable and, as an added benefit, lasts longer than your typical mattress. The only downside is really how much it costs. Usually, you can expect a bed of horse to push you back a solid ten to $150,000. Oh yeah, and why not add some goose feather pillows into the mix for who knows what ridiculous amount. Still though, I'm sure anyone would be as happy to have a bed like this. I know I would. Sleepless nights would be no more. Heck, just look at the darn thing. It's making me tired. Number 2. Travis Scott's $550,000 Custom Aventador SV from what we know, Travis hasn't had the best luck when it comes to driving, especially when his most recent incidences happened with Lamborghinis. Let's just hope this time it's different if he's going to spend over a half a million to customize his Aventador SV. With the help of West Coast Customs, he and Travis mocked up a design for the interior and exterior, which eventually came out as a matte milk chocolate sort of color. And boy is it beautiful. The interior stitch work really just brings out the outside paint job even more. Apparently seeing the customized Aventador on video just pales in comparison into seeing it drive in person. If only we were so lucky. Number one, Drake's $8 million home. There's a nice story behind this purchase. Try to put yourself in Drake's shoes back in 2007. He just quit acting on Degrassi, still unsigned, and mapping out his future plans. He's researching what are some of the world's craziest residential pools. He decides on this one, keeps it as his desktop background on his computer. Come 2012, he buys this home for $8 million in Beverly Hills. He used it as his way of staying focused. He worked hard, kept producing great music, and never gave up on his dreams, even for a moment. Now because of it, he can regularly enjoy movies in his home 
home theater. Have a nice glass of wine from a cellar. Invite company over for some wild parties. And play tennis or volleyball whenever he wants. And with that said, that concludes what are the 10 stupidly expensive things rappers don't talk about. Feel free to comment what you thought about today's video. And maybe leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification button to see more King Trending videos similar to this one in the near future. And have yourself an excellent day. Just another reminder to enter the iPhone 10 giveaway we have going on. All you guys need to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications, drop a like, and comment the hidden message in the video. Thank you for watching till the end, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later in the next video. Peace.